Julian Assange, keep the pressure on. Free Julian Assange, as you know, as we all say, like all the time, every week. Bam. First off, our friend Gordon Dimmack. We all know Gordon Dimmack. Dimmack. All right. So, Gordon. The return of Dimmack. Right. Uh, where's that on the board? <laughs> so, Gordon is one of the, you know, longtime supporters and staunch advocates for the freedom and, and release of Julian Assange. Um, he's been, you know, screaming for his freedom for a long time. And he wrote a new article saying when all is exposed, 98% of Washington will fall. It had that title, which is, of course, a quote of Julian's. Okay. Yep. For any citizen of the U.S. of A. reading this article, I want to make one thing clear. None of what I'm about to say applies to you, to all of our American brothers and sisters. Americans have treated Gordon absolutely fine throughout his entire life. In fact, when he was spending time across the pond years ago, family he was staying with needed help. He watched as ordinary Americans rallied around to help their family, neighbor, and friend. Americans, in his experience, are good, honest, caring people. And many friends in America, and no doubt some of them will read this. I heartily, certainly hope so. Well, guess what, Gordon? One of them's reading right now. The people yep. I'm addressing this article to are those in power in the U.S. who Julian Assange would say are those regrettable elements in it that hate truth, liberty, and justice. This article is directed toward you, Joe Biden, Anthony Blinken, and many, many others in the administration and the simps that cover for them, as well as plenty in the Republican Party, I'm sure, that don't that aren't on board with this shit. Everybody hates you, America. Everybody. Absolutely every country on the planet hates you. Not just those who are your presumed enemies in Russia and China, or those who are th those countries in the Middle East, Africa and South America, who you've been sanctioning and bombing into submission in order to steal their resources for decades while assassinating any person in other sovereign nations or at home uh, who was a threat to your hegemony over this planet. Hegemony. Not just those countries, but all of your allies hate you too. The French hate you, America. They really do. The French fucking hate your guts. So do the Germans, the Italians, and the Dutch. The rest of Europe hate you too, especially <laughs> those who knew you blew up Nord Stream and are responsible for the deindustrialization of their continent. The British hate you for sure. Even my mom hates you, and she's the loveliest 80-year-old you could ever meet without a bad bone in her body. I'm not going to do this in Gordon's accent. I bet. I'm sure she's a wonderful woman, Gordon. You haven't seen her at the pub yet, Gordon. Everybody you know? hates you, America, <laughs> including your allies. In fact, you don't really have any allies at all. <sighs> the whole Epstein-Maxwell trafficking children to nobody saga, where none of their rich and powerful clients were even named in public, let alone prosecuted, in an obvious honey trap blackmail operation run by U.S. and Israeli intelligence services, exposed this truth to the world. Yeah. You don't have allies. Jesus was there. Mm -hmm. He knew. He knew. <laughs> he was there. Jesus well, was everywhere. Well, Jesus is your co-pilot. Then yes, he he, <laughs> he had to fly on the yeah. Lolita Express to Epstein Island. That's that's Reef's joke of the week. Um, I'm sure all our Christian brothers and sisters will just love that. Sorry, it's true. Yep. You don't have allies. You have vassal states that you hold hostage with threats of blackmail. If any country does not succumb to your whim. Whatever that may be, the file comes out and a thread of the videotapes appearing on the internet or the pictures appear in Z papers, follows, or maybe a gas pipeline critical to your country and continent gets blown to kingdom come. Make no mistakes about it. The United States of America bombs and sanctions its enemies and blackmails its friends. And I love that he includes a, chip, a clip from the Jimmy Dore show. No country on this planet joins a military alliance with the United States because they're afraid of what China and Russia will do if they don't. They join. They only join an alliance with America because they're afraid of what the United States will do if they don't. 100% true. And in the UK, where Julian Assange is being held in prison, serving no sentence for no crime, it is no different. In the UK, Julian Assange is being held in prison, awaiting extradition to the United States for publishing the truth about their war crimes. War crimes including the murder and subsequent cover-up of journalists. The UK's Crown Prosecution Service is refusing to release the full documentation of communications between their offices and the United States 
During the time, Julian Assange sought refuge in the Ecuadorian embassy. Note, Derek Keir Stormer was head of the Crown Prosecution Service during this time. And now he's, oh right, the Prime Minister. Mm -hmm. The reason they will not release this information is to do so would have a chilling effect on extraditions worldwide. Yeah, because they lied and they're covering it up. When journalist Stefania Marizzi appealed this denial of freedom of information, the head of CPS denied, to access, denied access to it again, saying the chilling effect to extraditions worldwide is worse now than in 2017, but the reason given is redacted. Yeah. We covered that story, Great. too, about, about Stefania and the, and the FOIA thing and, and the, the demand, and they did release some info that yeah. further confirmed what we already knew. Two questions sprung to mind when Gordon saw that document. Firstly, how can any country call itself a democracy while being so secretive about a matter that is clearly of such importance to the general public and in their interest? And secondly, what else could this reason be? That to tell us what the U.S. said to the CPS would have a chilling effect on extraditions worldwide other than the United States of America blackmailing its closest ally? Or worse, threatening it with all-out war should they refuse to extradite a journalist whose only crime is that he published the truth. We've talked to Gordon. What are your thoughts so far on this one? I mean, he's spot on as always. Uh, you know. so, so, I mean, it's the Assange case is one of those things where to us, it's so cut and dry that like we're surprised anyone else has differing takes, you know? Yeah. Like so, you know, it's like he's an Australian citizen, shouldn't be tried here at all. There should be no extradition. Like, I mean, you just go through the spiel again, you know. For a crime he didn't commit. So, you know? Yeah, they they right. absolutely cooked it up. They keep reissuing the charges at the last minute so that they can't prepare a proper defense. Anyway. What he's saying is that if the United States can do this, if they can criminalize good journalism and reach into another country's borders and the, punish... Go ahead. What? The reason he's being <clears throat> detained is because of an uh, accusation made by someone who admitted he was lying. Siggy Thorson. Like, mm -hmm. Right. So, yeah, I mean... Good on Gordon, though. <clears throat> yep. So, if the U.S. can do this... If they can criminalize good journalism and reach into any other country's orders to punish any person telling the truth about their crimes and criminal activity, except for Russia, they are not only destroying democracy worldwide, they're crossing a line that fascists cross. Yes, they are fascists. And that is doppelganger Stefania Marizzi, uh, Tori doppelganger Stefania Marizzi. And that is a, a clip from a Gordon uh, thing about this is the death of your right to know. He filmed this. Thank you, Deepa, and thanks to all. Deepa Driver. It's a, a great honor to be here, and I... And this was a whole speech that she gave. So this is in the Gordon article. For the UK to even consider extraditing a journalist to his certain torture and death at the hands of fascists because he did good journalism must mean what these fascists are threatening them with explosive information, with information so explosive that it could bring the entire nation to its knees. Maybe Prince Andrew and Epstein Island? Maybe somebody else. I don't know. Maybe. And if those regrettable Maybe. elements within the U.S. government that hate truth, liberty, and justice are doing this abroad, blackmailing their closest allies into torturing people for telling the truth, what do you think they're doing with their politicians and ruling elite at home? Remember President Bill Clinton flew hmm. on Epstein's plane 26 times. What do you think he was doing on those trips? And why has no journalist ever seriously questioned him about it. Well, that's because they, they won't let anyone get near him, close enough to him to ask that question. And if they do, they'll shepherd him away very quickly and then they will really be dis disappeared likely. Is the only way that a person gets to any position in power in the United States is if the intelligence community has leverage on them? Well, the answer is, of course, yes. Remember, these are people that will not under, under any circumstances release the JFK files, no matter how much they promise to do it when on the campaign trial trail um not mm -hmm. that the world doesn't know who killed him already of course these are the people that tried to get martin luther king to kill himself a lot of these people say uh, eventually completed that job themselves 
It's the same people that lied about the Gulf of Tonkin, incubator babies, and weapons of mass destruction in order to start wars that cost millions of lives and profited their buddies by billions of dollars. These are the same people whose explanation for why 9-11 wasn't stopped was that they were tracking all the hijackers who toppled three buildings in New York with two planes for years when they were in other countries, but stopped tracking them the minute the hijackers entered the United States and didn't tell anybody, let alone the FBI. Uh -huh. That's their official story. Do you think, knowing this track record for lying, that the United States should be the arbiters of truth worldwide? Do you think they can be trusted to tell the truth about anything at all? Yes. Forget World Trade Center, Tower 7. The regrettable, uh -huh. yeah, the regrettable elements within the U.S. government that hate truth, liberty, and justice have lied so much for so long that I believe Assange is right. When, oh, when all is exposed... 98% of Washington will fall. If, however, Julian Assange is extradited to fascists in America, it won't just mean his certain death. It'll be the death of your right to know the truth. It'll be the death of Western democracy and the death of UK sovereignty. It will be the death of freedom. Because any of those things exist uh, now. Well, <laughs> you know, like... Or until Julian they, Assange... They will free. definitely... Any... Right. None of us will be free. Um, Support our brother Gordon Dimack. Here's Julian. Again, Gordon Dimack.